How is it going, everybody? This is RVT coming at you with my Orange Bowl recap video. Clemson wins 40-35 over the Ohio State Buckeyes and a great game to watch. I do want to say, though, I apologize for the kind of late upload. It's like 1 o'clock now. I didn't get to make this, game, this video right after the game. I've been gone. I just got home. So, here I am. But, uh, great game. First of all, I got some crow to talk about. I want to say congratulations to Clemson and their fans. Uh, I did not think you had it in them. If you watched my pregame video or preview video for the Orange Bowl, I was uh, really negative about Clemson. I had a lot of bad things to say about a lot of thoughts, negative thoughts on the, the Clemson football team, specifically Todd Boyd. And they proved me wrong. I, ha I thought they did not have it in them. I thought there was no way they, no way they were going to win this football game. They came out, uh, looked great on offense. They did what they had to do on defense. Uh, they took a big lead. Ohio State came roaring back, but they did not back down and kept and kept uh, kept pushing and ended up getting the victory. They made plays when they had to, and I didn't think he had it in them. So, congratulations! I was completely wrong about you. Todd Wood had a great game. Surprised me how well he ran the football. How about Sammy Watkins, man? What a game! That how many? Sixteen receptions, seventeen receptions for two hundred plus yards. Man, that was what a heck of a game. His his stock just went up farther than it was already at. So, pretty big game to go out if you're Sammy Watkins. So, congratulations to Clemson fans. I was wrong. You guys were right. Uh, simple as that. So, congrats on a, on a really good season. And congratulations on an Orange Bowl victory. Finally, you guys you guys deserved it. Davo, um... Whatever you got to say about him, he's a class guy. He's classy, cl as classy as it gets. He gets fired up. He's he's a fun coach to watch. Uh, as bad as bad as some people feel about him, I think he's a great a great personality, a great coach. So he, I think they deserve it. As much as Todd Boyd and Sammy Watkins has been through all the Orange Bowl losses, the the big losses, they they deserve a big win like this over a good team in Ohio State. And also congratulations to Ohio State. I mean, yeah, twelve and two seems kind of disappointing. I mean, I understand that, but still. 12 wins is a good season. You played against some great teams. You fell a little bit short, but but at least you competed, and you you know you're just about right there to compete for a national championship. So congratulations, Ohio State, too. Now let's get into the game a little bit. Like I said, it seemed like Clemson was gonna gonna pull away with this one. They uh, they were kind of out to a, a pretty big lead. It was 20 to nine at one point. Uh, Ohio State missed a bunch of extra points, but um. Clemson, sorry, Clemson came up, roaring back, they scored 20 straight points, looked like they were about to blow out Ohio State, and then Ohio State came right back, and, and um, Ohio State uh, was going on the field, uh, or Clemson was, and trying to really just just pull away and try to make it a two-possession game, and then they made a huge mistake, Taj Boyd specifically gave the ball back to Ohio State, and that Gave Ohio State all the momentum. It seemed like Ohio State was going to go down the field and, and score a touchdown. But defense came up big, pressured pressured Braxton Miller, and forced a turnover. And you had to do whatever they had to do to get the win. They did. They they, they created a turnover at the end of the game, and they ran out the clock and won the football game. They did what they ever had to do. And this was such a competitive game. It was, it was awesome. Sammy Watkins had a great game. Braxton Miller had a pretty good game as well. Uh, Carlos Hyde also had a pretty good game running the football. He looked like an absolute beast out there. Um, penalties was pretty big as well on Clemson. They kind of shot themselves in the foot a lot. So many penalties. But uh, one of the penalties, a couple of the penalties actually led to, to, to points for Ohio State. But um, yeah, man, just uh, like I said, Clemson knew what they had to do to win. They stuck in the game the whole entire time. I so does Ohio State. So you got to get props to Ohio State for sticking in the game as bad as they played it defensively at times, but they could not cover Sammy Watkins for anything. So that was kind of shocking. And like I always say, if you lose the turnover battle, you're probably going to end up losing the game when you're playing a, a good opponent. And Ohio State negative two in the turnover margin. They had four turnovers, two picks, two fumbles, and uh, as long as you're negative two in the turnover battle, it that's a that's a pretty big stat there. But like I said, and also Ohio State was horrible on third downs. They're they're bad. They were two or thirteen on third downs. And on the flip side, Clemson was seven or thirteen. So uh, that was pretty big. And I mean, Clemson pretty much. I I think I think the the score is a little bit closer than it really was. I mean, I think they 
pretty much dominated this game, but they they did let Ohio State come back. They they, they took advantage of some opportunities. So, but all that matters is that W and holding up those oranges at the end of the game. But like I said, what was Sammy Watkins' official stat? 16 receptions, 227 yards, two touchdowns. He was, man, he he uh, what a great game from him. Like I said, his his draft stock went shooting up after this game. So, uh, congratulations, congratulations, to Clemson on a big win. Uh, is this the first BCS BCS win in your program history? Uh, I'm not sure because I know. Not to bring up some bad memories, but you lost last season. Oh no, you, last season you played in the, the Chick Fil A Bowl against LSU. The season before that was that the West Virginia year. I don't know. I really, I really don't know, man. But don't, don't take my word for that. But let's get into the some official stats from the game. I already said third down conversions, uh, total yardage, five seventy six to four twenty seven, obviously in favor of Clemson. Uh, 198 rushing yards from Clemson to 193 for Ohio State. Like I said, both both teams were pretty pretty similar running the football. I mean, Todd Boyd had a big game running the football, as did Braxton Miller. And penalties, like I said, were huge. 15 penalties for Clemson, 144 yards. And on the flip side, 6 for 60 for Ohio State. In individual stats, he had Todd Boyd, 31 to 40, 378 yards, 5 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. Huge game from him. He was taking advantage of his good receivers, and half his passes were completed to Sammy Watkins. But they have some, they have some pretty good receivers aside from Sammy Watkins. So, it was a really good game for Todd Boyd in his career. Like I said, I was, I was really hard on Todd Boyd in my preview video, and he, 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 uh, he showed me up definitely. Made me look stupid. So, crow there. Good job. Good, good game for Todd Boyd. Uh, this is a good way to end your career. Uh, he also ended up 20 carries, 127 yards, so over 500 yards total. Uh, from him in his last game, that was that's crazy. And a touchdown running the football, obviously. I think forty the forty eight yard touchdown run was as long as of his career, so that's pretty cool. And uh, Roderick McDowell had twelve for sixty nine. And uh, Sammy Watkins already said sixteen catches, two hundred twenty seven yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Bryant had the other two touchdowns, and Seckinger had a touchdown. That was on the uh, the play action um, rollout, and they completely. Uh, tricked him there, but then on Ohio State side, you had Carlos Hyde, wait, you had Braxton Miller, 16-24, 234 yards, two touchdowns and two picks, Carlos Hyde, 25 carries, 113 yards and touchdown, and Braxton Miller, 18 carries, 35 yards, two touchdowns, they, they uh, and most of those, those yards came on, came on one carry, and he was sacked a good bit, so, that, uh, they, they contained him for the most part, aside from a, a big run here and there, they, they pretty much contained Braxton Miller, he had Brown had eight receptions, 116 yards, and uh, I think I've said this before. Probably the weak wink, wink, the weak link on Ohio State team is their is their wide receiver core, and through recruiting that will get better. But I guess that's about it, guys. Once again, I apologize for the late upload. So if you're a fan of either of these two teams, let me know what you think this win means for your program moving forward, and let me know what you thought about the game in the comment section. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm coming at you with bowl recaps of every single bowl game this season. And there's only three left, I think. i got to make a Cotton Bowl video right after this. Um, congratulations, Missouri. Big win there. i got to come at you with a uh, Vanderbilt and Houston play tomorrow. Come at you with that. And then Sunday's the GoDaddy Bowl. Come at you with that recap. And then Monday, obviously, is National Championship. So I'm going to come at you with a recap for that as well. So be sure to subscribe and not miss any of those videos. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com says s 3 rtr Make sure to hit that big, make sure to big hit that like button below the video. Helps me out a lot. So I guess that, that's it, guys. Hope you have a great night. Roll Tiger Go Sox and Go Titans to you. Catch you guys later. Have a great week. End. Peace.